Chip Foose, a renowned name in the automotive world, rose to fame with the hit TV show. Overhaulin', known for his exceptional design skills and passion for car restoration, Foose captivated audiences, transforming ordinary vehicles into extraordinary works of art. However, the story of Chip Foose extends far beyond the television screen. This video explores the intriguing journey of Chip Foose after overhauling, unraveling his evolution from a popular TV personality to a successful entrepreneur. Join us as we delve into the remarkable life of Chip Foose, uncovering the challenges, triumphs, and enduring legacy of a true automotive icon. Early life and passion for car design. The story of Chip Foose, an iconic figure in the world of car design, begins in the scenic city of Santa Barbara, California, where he was born on October 13, 1963. Growing up in an environment steeped in automotive culture, Foose's destiny seemed intertwined with cars from the outset. His father, Sam Foose, worked at Project Design, a company deeply rooted in the car industry, infusing young Chip's world with a love for vehicles from a very early age. This familial backdrop was instrumental in nurturing his burgeoning interest in cars and design. From as early as three years old, Chip displayed an extraordinary fascination with car design. He would often sit beside his father attempting to replicate the drawings and designs Sam worked on. This wasn't just child's play, it was the early manifestation of a talent that would later define Chip's career. By the age of seven, Chip's skills had developed remarkably. He wasn't just doodling cars on paper. He was assisting his father in actual design work, a testament to his precocious talent and deepening passion for automotive design. Despite this promising start, Chip's journey wasn't without its struggles. In 1982, he took a significant step towards realizing his dreams by enrolling at the prestigious Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California, a leading institution in the world of graphic and industrial design. Here, Foose immersed himself in the study of automotive design, a field that combined his artistic flair with his love for cars. The Art Center was more than just an educational institution for Chip. It was a place where his passion was nurtured, and his skills were honed under the guidance of expert mentors and alongside like-minded peers. However, Chip's academic journey was met with financial hurdles. The cost of education at such an esteemed institution was substantial, and despite his evident talent and dedication, these financial difficulties forced him to leave the Art Center before completing his degree. This was a significant setback for Chip, who cherished his time at the college and the learning it provided. The departure from the Art Center was more than just an interruption in his education. It was a departure from a community and an environment that he had grown to love. Undeterred by this obstacle, Chip's resilience and passion for car design propelled him forward. He took up work in a neoclassical car manufacturing workshop in Santa Barbara, known as Clinic Coachworks. This period was crucial in Chip's development as a designer. Although the workshop primarily focused on retro-style cars, it provided Chip with hands-on experience and a deeper understanding of the practical aspects of car design and manufacturing. However, Clinic Coachworks eventually ceased operation, marking another turn in Chip's career path. Despite these challenges, Foose's determination to succeed in the field he loved was unwavering. He returned to the Art Center College of Design to complete his education, a decision that underscored his commitment to his craft. His return to the college was a turning point, allowing him to refine his skills and solidify his foundation in automotive design. Upon graduation, Chip embarked on a career that would soon see him become one of the most influential figures in the world of car design. Academic Challenges and Early Career Chip Foose's journey through the halls of the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California is a narrative steeped in both aspiration and adversity. Enrolling in the early 1980s, Foose found himself at one of the most prestigious design schools in the world, a place that has shaped many influential figures in automotive design. The Art Center was not just a college for Foose. It was a forge where his raw talent and passion for car design were to be honed and tested. At the Art Center, Foose was exposed to an array of design philosophies, techniques, and a wealth of knowledge from some of the most respected figures in the industry. He thrived in this environment, his natural talent for design blossoming under the tutelage of expert instructors. The rigorous curriculum of the Art Center 
known for its emphasis on practical skills and creative innovation, was an ideal match for Fuse's hands-on approach and imaginative vision. His time at the college was marked by a fervent engagement with every aspect of automotive design, from conceptual sketches to intricate model making. However, Fuse's academic journey was not without its challenges. The financial strain of attending such an elite institution began to weigh heavily on him. The cost of tuition, coupled with the expenses of living and studying in Pasadena, posed a significant hurdle. This financial burden became increasingly difficult to bear, eventually leading to a heart-wrenching decision. Midway through his studies, Fuse had to withdraw from the art center. This was a crushing blow for someone so deeply passionate about car design and so committed to his education. Leaving the art center, however, did not mark the end of Fuse's aspirations. Rather, it was a detour on his path to success. In the ensuing years, he honed his craft in the real world. Fuse found work at a Santa Barbara-based workshop, Clinic Coachworks, specializing in the production of neoclassical retro-style cars. This period was crucial in his development as a designer, providing him with practical, hands-on experience that complemented his academic learning. At Clinic Coachworks, Fuse's responsibilities ranged from sketching designs to assisting in the actual construction and modification of vehicles. This experience was invaluable, grounding his theoretical knowledge from the art center in the practical realities of car design and manufacturing. Despite the setbacks and the detour from his academic pursuits, Fuse remained undeterred. His passion for car design and his belief in his abilities propelled him forward. In a testament to his resilience and dedication, Fuse returned to the art center to complete his education. Yes, I am. I actually graduated in December of 1990 from the art center and... Uh... This return was not just a continuation of his studies. It was a reaffirmation of his commitment to his chosen field. Back at the art center, Fuse immersed himself in his studies with renewed vigor, absorbing every bit of knowledge and skill he could. Rise to fame with overhauling. The trajectory of Chip Fuse's career took a dramatic turn with the advent of the television show, Overhaulin. This show not only catapulted him to fame, but also revolutionized the way people perceived car restoration and customization. Overhaulin, which first aired in 2004, showcased Fuse's extraordinary talent in car design and restoration, bringing his work into the living rooms of millions of viewers and establishing him as a household name in the automotive world. The concept of overhauling was both innovative and engaging. The show revolved around the idea of secretly refurbishing cars for unsuspecting owners. These individuals were nominated by friends or family members who believed they deserved a car makeover. This element of surprise and emotional connection was a key factor in the show's popularity. It added a human element to the process of car restoration turning each episode into a heartwarming story of appreciation and transformation. Foose, as the lead designer and a key figure on the show, brought an unparalleled level of expertise and creativity to each project. His designs were not just modifications, they were complete transformations, turning mundane or dilapidated cars into stunning, one-of-a-kind creations. His ability to envision and execute such transformations showcased his exceptional talent and deep understanding of automotive design. This was a platform where Fuse's creativity, honed over years of education and professional experience, was on full display. The success of Overhaulin was not just due to the physical transformations of the vehicles, but also the emotional impact these transformations had on the car owners. The reveal segment of each episode where owners were presented with their overhauled cars often elicited emotional and heartfelt reactions. This emotional resonance with the audience was a key factor in the show's widespread appeal. It wasn't just about cars. It was about touching lives, making dreams come true, and the joy of giving. Overhaulin also stood out for its educational value. The show provided insights into the technical aspects of car restoration and customization, Viewers were given a behind-the-scenes look at the process, from initial design sketches to the final product. This demystification of car customization made the subject accessible and intriguing to a broader audience, not just car enthusiasts. Fuse's explanations and walkthroughs during the show helped viewers understand the complexity and artistry involved in car design. The impact of overhauling on Fuse's career was profound, the show elevated him from a respected figure in the car design community to a celebrity in the mainstream media. 
His work on the show brought him recognition and accolades, both within and outside the automotive industry. The popularity of Overhaulin opened up new opportunities for Foos, including collaborations, endorsements, and increased business for his own design firm, Foos Design. Overhaulin's impact on car culture. Overhaulin, with Chip Foos at its helm, not only captured the hearts of viewers worldwide, but also had a profound impact on car culture and the custom car industry. The show, through its innovative approach to car restoration and customization, redefined the standards and expectations within the industry, inspiring a new wave of car enthusiasts and professionals alike. Before overhauling, the custom car culture was largely a niche domain, appreciated primarily by car enthusiasts and professionals in the field. However, the show's broad appeal brought this culture into the mainstream, igniting interest among a diverse audience. It showcased the art of car customization in a way that was accessible and engaging to the average viewer. This accessibility was key in demystifying the process of car customization and in showcasing the vast potential of automotive design. Foose's designs on Overhaulin were characterized by their creativity, attention to detail, and the seamless blend of classic and modern elements. This approach influenced how people viewed car customization. It wasn't just about adding flashy accessories or making superficial changes. It was about a thoughtful redesign and transformation that paid homage to the original character of the vehicle while infusing it with a modern aesthetic. This philosophy resonated with viewers and influenced trends in the custom car industry. The show also played a crucial role in promoting the idea that car customization could be a form of personal expression. Each episode of Overhaulin was not just a car makeover, it was a story of personalization, with Foos and his team tailoring each project to reflect the personality and preferences of the car owner. This personalized approach encouraged car owners and enthusiasts to see their vehicles as canvases for self-expression, further fueling interest in custom car design. Foos, with his expertise and charismatic presence, became a role model for many aspiring automotive designers and mechanics. The show highlighted the skill, creativity, and dedication required in this field, elevating the status of automotive professionals. It inspired a new generation to pursue careers in automotive design and restoration, contributing to the growth and evolution of the industry. The educational aspect of overhauling also contributed to its impact on car culture. The show provided viewers with insights into the technical aspects of car customization, from the selection of materials and components to the intricacies of design and engineering. This educational approach raised awareness and appreciation of the craftsmanship involved in car customization, fostering a more informed and enthusiastic community of car enthusiasts. Post Overhaulin Career and Ventures After the immense success of Overhaulin, Chip Foose continued to forge an impressive career, marked by a series of ventures that expanded his influence beyond television into broader aspects of the automotive industry. post overhauling Foose's career trajectory highlighted his versatility as a designer and entrepreneur, further cementing his status as an icon in the world of car design. One of the most significant aspects of Foose's career post overhauling has been the continued success and expansion of his own company, Foose Design. Established in Huntington Beach, California, Foos Design has become a hub of creativity and innovation in the automotive design industry. Under Foos's leadership, the company specializes in unique, custom-designed vehicles, automotive illustrations, and a variety of project design services. Foos Design has become synonymous with excellence in automotive design, attracting clients from around the globe seeking Foos's signature style and expertise. In addition to his work at Foos Design, Chip Foos has ventured into various collaborations and partnerships, leveraging his fame and expertise to expand his influence in the industry. He has been involved in numerous collaborations with leading automotive companies and aftermarket parts manufacturers, contributing his design insights and creativity to a range of products and projects. These collaborations have not only diversified his professional portfolio, but also allowed him to imprint his design philosophy on a wider array of automotive products. Foose's involvement in the automotive industry post overhaul and also extends to his role as an educator and mentor. He has been actively involved in various educational initiatives, sharing his knowledge and experience with aspiring designers and automotive enthusiasts. His participation in workshops, seminars, 
and as a guest speaker at various institutions, underlines his commitment to nurturing the next generation of automotive professionals. Fuse's educational endeavors reflect his belief in giving back to the community and fostering new talent in the field he loves. Furthermore, Fuse has made significant inroads into the digital world, recognizing the importance of the internet in expanding his reach and influence. He has effectively utilized digital platforms to showcase his work, share insights into his design process, and connect with a global audience. His presence on social media and his YouTube channel, where he uploads progress videos of his projects, has helped him engage with a broader audience, including younger fans and digital-savvy enthusiasts. Fuse's post-overhaul and career has also seen him launch a range of branded products. Capitalizing on his fame and the respect he commands in the industry, he has introduced a line of products that includes apparel, automotive parts, and accessories. This range of products allows fans and enthusiasts to own a piece of the Fuse brand, further extending his influence in the automotive and lifestyle sectors. Transition to Digital and Online Presence In an era where digital presence is paramount, Chip Fuse's adaptation to the digital age stands as a shining example of how traditional craftsmanship can seamlessly blend with modern technology. Post-overhauling, Fuse has astutely navigated the digital landscape, effectively utilizing various platforms to enhance his brand's reach and engage with a broader audience. This transition to digital has been characterized by the establishment of a strong online presence, notably through his YouTube channel and online store. Fuse's foray into the digital world was marked by the launch of his YouTube channel, a platform that has allowed him to connect with audiences worldwide. The channel serves as a window into Fuse's world of automotive design, offering viewers a glimpse of his creative process, project progress, and insights into the world of car customization. The content on his YouTube channel is diverse, ranging from detailed tutorials and design discussions to behind-the-scenes footage of his projects. This digital endeavor has not only expanded Fuse's audience, but has also given fans and enthusiasts an opportunity to learn from one of the masters of automotive design. The YouTube channel also serves as an educational resource, demystifying aspects of car design and restoration. Foos uses this platform to share his vast knowledge and experience, making complex concepts in automotive design accessible to viewers. Through his videos, Foos engages with his audience in a personal and direct manner, establishing a digital rapport that transcends the boundaries of traditional media. This personal connection has been key in building a loyal online community of followers who admire his work and value his expertise. Alongside his YouTube channel, Fuse has developed a robust online store, further expanding his digital footprint. This store offers a range of products, from apparel to car accessories, all branded with the Fuse signature. The items available in the store are a reflection of Fuse's style and ethos, offering fans a tangible connection to the Fuse brand. The online store not only serves as a commercial venture, but also as a platform to promote the Fuse brand identity allowing fans from across the globe to own a piece of the Foos legacy. The development of Foos's online store also highlights his understanding of the importance of e-commerce in today's market. By offering his products online, Foos has tapped into a wider market, reaching customers beyond the geographical limitations of a physical store. This approach has allowed him to capitalize on his fame and the loyalty of his fan base, translating his brand appeal into a successful online business. Furthermore, Fuse's transition to the digital realm has been instrumental in boosting his brand's marketing and promotional efforts. Through social media platforms, Fuse has been able to effectively promote his YouTube content, online store products, and upcoming projects. Social media has provided Fuse with a direct line of communication to his audience, enabling him to engage with, fans, share updates, and receive feedback. This two-way communication has been crucial in maintaining relevance and staying connected with a digitally savvy audience. In addition to his YouTube channel and online store, Fuse's digital presence is complemented by his active engagement on social media platforms. His posts on platforms like Instagram and Facebook often feature snapshots of his current projects, personal insights, and moments from his life and work. This social media engagement has allowed Foos to build a more personal and relatable brand image, connecting with his audience on a level beyond professional expertise. Awards, 
recognition, and influence. The illustrious career of Chip Foos, marked by creativity, innovation, and an unwavering passion for automotive design, has been recognized with numerous awards and accolades. These honors not only acknowledge his individual talent and contributions, but also underscore his significant influence on the automotive industry. Foos's journey of recognition began early in his career, long before his mainstream fame with Overhaulin. His unique blend of traditional craftsmanship and innovative design quickly set him apart in the industry. The awards began as acknowledgments from local car shows and industry events, but as his reputation grew, so did the stature of the accolades. These early recognitions were a harbinger of the numerous prestigious awards that would follow. One of the most significant acknowledgments of Foose's talent came with his induction into the Hot Rod Hall of Fame. This honor, bestowed upon individuals who have made substantial contributions to the Hot Rod community, was a testament to Foose's influence in shaping the modern Hot Rod culture. His designs, which often blend retro charm with contemporary styling, have redefined what hot rods can be, pushing the boundaries of creativity in this iconic segment of car culture. Foose's contributions to the automotive industry have also been recognized with awards like the Good Guys Street Rod of the Year and America's Most Beautiful Roadster, AMBR. These awards, highly coveted in the custom car industry, are not just trophies on a shelf. They are symbols of excellence and innovation in automotive design. Winning these awards placed Foos in an elite group of designers and builders who have left an indelible mark on the industry. Perhaps one of the most telling aspects of Foos's influence is his receipt of the Riddler Award, considered one of the most prestigious awards in the custom car industry. The Riddler Award, given at the Detroit Autorama, is awarded to new and innovative designs. Foos's multiple victories at this event underscore his ability to continually push the envelope in automotive design, creating vehicles that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also groundbreaking in their conception and execution. Beyond the formal accolades, Foos's influence on the automotive industry is evident in the widespread adoption and adaptation of his design principles. His approach to car design, which emphasizes clean lines, balanced proportions, and a seamless blend of form and function, has become a benchmark in the industry. This influence extends beyond custom cars to influence mainstream automotive design, with elements of Foos's style discernible in modern production vehicles. Foos's impact on the automotive industry is also reflected in the way he has inspired and mentored the next generation of designers and builders. Through his television appearances, public speaking engagements, and educational initiatives, Foos has shared his knowledge and passion with aspiring designers and enthusiasts. His willingness to mentor and educate speaks to his commitment to the future of the automotive industry and his desire to see it continue to evolve and thrive. Personal Life and Future Endeavors Chip Foos, beyond his professional achievements and public persona, leads a life that is as intricate and fascinating as his car designs. His personal journey, interwoven with his career, offers a glimpse into the man behind the masterpieces, his current projects, and his aspirations for the future. Born and raised in Santa Barbara, California, Foos's early exposure to cars through his father's passion for automobiles was a defining aspect of his childhood. This familial influence was not just limited to his professional path, but also shaped his personal values and work ethic. Foos's deep-rooted family ties are evident in how he speaks of his parents and his early years, painting a picture of a grounded individual who values his roots and upbringing. Foos's personal life took a significant turn when he met and married Lynn, his wife, who has been a pillar of support throughout his career. Lynn has not only been a partner in Foos's personal life, but also an integral part of his professional journey. Together, they have faced the challenges and savored the successes that have come their way. Their partnership extends to Foos Design, where Lynn plays a key role. The couple's strong bond is a testament to their shared commitment to both their family and their business. Together, Chip and Lynn Foos have two children, a son and a daughter, whom they have raised amidst the whirlwind of Foos's career. Foos's role as a father is something he cherishes deeply, often reflecting on the importance of balancing his professional endeavors with his family life. His dedication to his family is a reminder that behind the public figure lies a devoted husband and father. In terms of current projects, Foos continues to be deeply involved in the world of automotive design through Foos Design. 
His work remains as innovative and sought after as ever, with a range of projects that showcase his evolving style and mastery. From custom car builds for private clients to collaborations with automotive manufacturers, Fuse's portfolio is a testament to his versatility and enduring appeal in the automotive world. Fuse's future endeavors are as dynamic and forward-thinking as his designs. He has expressed a keen interest in exploring new technologies and materials in automotive design, reflecting his desire to stay at the forefront of the industry. This includes a focus on sustainable design practices and the incorporation of environmentally friendly materials, aligning with the evolving priorities of the automotive sector.